Hi everyone, this is Mara um, coming to you with Mara's Monday Magical Messages. I'm sorry this is not live for whatever reason. Facebook would not let me do a live video today. No idea. Anyway, we are going to get started. Um, I refound those inquiry cards. I don't know if anyone remembers them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so these inquiry cards are super cool. Um, and uh, this one is saying, what is my body trying to tell me? So that's how we start off our reading for this week, uh, December 16th. Um, this is something that, you know, I've really spent a huge part of my, um, of my career, of my learning um, with us realizing that our bodies were, were giving us valuable information instead of, you know, symptoms being looked at as a nuisance or a hassle, but they really are communication and information from our bodies about our um, deeper parts of ourselves, you know, um, our souls and our hearts and our desires and true and our truths. So that's the way I look at symptoms and look at how the body is behaving. And so, so I just thought this was so perfect. What is your body trying to tell you? Or what is my body trying to tell me? So, um, some, a great thing to reflect on, a really great thing to reflect on, especially right now when there's a lot of outside in, uh, information and situations going on, um, you know, with holidays and, and, and um, for a lot of people, the holidays can be really challenging for many different reasons. So um, this is a reminder to tune into your system, tune into your body and, and get that information. Okay, our oil of the week is helichrysum. And um, helichrysum is a very um, wonderful oil. Um, it's another one that goes with me everywhere. I actually really love the smell even though it's um, probably more on the medicinal side, um, it gives us strength and endurance um, to the wounded soul and strength to keep going. Um, it restores confidence and um, not just in ourselves, but in our lives, in, our, um, in the power of love and in ourselves. Um, it gives us hope for living after there's been intense emotional trauma. So that's really a big one, hope for living after intense trauma. Um, here's Jen's beautiful picture of Helichrysum, beautiful painting. Um, and um, yeah, you know, this uh, is really about surrendering our pain and moving forward anyway. Um, so a beautiful card, beautiful uh, for this time of year. Um, doTERRA right now has been selling these shea butters um, and I'm like cuckoo for the shea butters, maybe because I'm in such a dry environment. But um, you, can, you can purchase the shea butters. One of them is Helichrysum and Rose. So, you know, very well known for its effects on, um, on skin. Um, but oh my God, it smells so good. And it's such a, it's such a, a great lotion. It's so easy to have in your purse or in the car. Um, although it does get very, um, it does get hard, uh, in the cold. So just be aware, you might have to warm it up before you put it on, but I love it. And Helichrysum and Rose. So, you know, the oil of pain and then the oil of, of unconditional love. So it's really a perfect combination to have. I have it at my desk. Okay, so our next card is the card of innocence. It's an Osho card. And the innocence of life lived, uh, whoops, lived fully, has a quality of wisdom and acceptance of the ever-changing wonder of life. So I'm gonna read that again. This You can see this is a, a you know, definitely an older gentleman who is playing with a praying mantis. And uh, 
the innocence of a life lived fully has a quality of wisdom and acceptance of the ever-changing wonder of life. So as we move into 2020, you know, I just feel like we're being given right now in these last couple of weeks all this beautiful information and um, advice really from the divine and from spirit reminding us that, you know, listen to our bodies, reminding us that even if we've had deep emotional trauma and pain, and there's a, there's a lot of that going on for a lot of people, um, not just at this time of the year, but there's a, there's a lot of um, challenges with um, health and, um, you know, just a lot going on right now. Um, but Healy Chrism gives us strength and endurance and, um, and it restores confidence. So, and then, uh, and then we're being reminded to stay innocent in it all as we move into 2020 to gather the wisdom that we have cultivated all of these years and and with all of our experiences, cultivate that wisdom and bring it forth um, and, and keep that wonder, uh, keep that childlike wonder and joy of, um, of our ever-changing world around us. We're so blessed. Okay, second to last card, Kriya from our Sahara Rose deck. Kriya um, means effortless flow. So, um, so this card is reminding us that there's no need to push, that we can surrender to the greater forces at play, uh, meaning, you know, the divine, divine energy, um, high vibration and flow. So the reverse of this card, so there's like a direct of this card, which is that, and then the, the reverse is um, that for some people right now, things are super, super tough. Um, and, you know, plans might be falling apart, relationships might be falling apart, jobs might be falling apart. Um, uh, people may be, um, finding out about really challenging diagnoses or family members or things like that. Really hard things have been happening lately. And um, and so this is the universe really coaxing you into maybe shifting courses, going in another direction. Um, again, listening to what your body is telling you. Um, you know, but ultimately we are being pushed and prodded towards our highest self and our best self. And, um, you know, how do we find that? Well, meditation, you know my answer to everything, meditation. Um, and then also remembering what did you do that you love to do? Where, where has the joy gone in your life? Do you find situations where you can be super joyful and you're super happy and, and there's all kinds of um, wonderful happening around you. When does that happen? And then can you continue to go in that direction is what's so important. Um, are your relationships satisfying at the soul level? Or do you need to start making some changes? So none of it's really super easy, but this card is reminding us that if you're really not in the flow, then you're not in the flow. <laughs> And what can you do to move yourself back into the flow? And when, when um, really dire things happen, um, I believe we're being, we are being given that information, that vital, really important divine information of what is my body telling me. Okay, final card is trust your path. So perfect reading today, right? Um, the universe and spirit is conspiring to help you at every step of the way and support you. Use your heart as a compass. And again, tune into that by um, meditating or being in nature, taking time for yourself, listening to music that makes your heart swell and, and become more open because then you can hear what your heart is saying Keep doing what you love and what lights you up, what makes you lose a sense of time and space and place. Um, take a step every day towards what you love and don't stop. 
faith and trust and love is the answer. Okay, so that's our reading for the day. And um, I love you all. I hope you have a beautiful week. I hope Facebook Live is working next time. In the meantime, though, I'll at least be able to post this one. Okay, have a beautiful, beautiful week. And um, I will see you next week. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.